Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. Happy, happy me! I'm so excited today because today is a festival called Diwali. And Mommy and Daddy are going to tell us all about it! Hika Puka Paku, my baby brother Taku. Are you excited too? Kakaku! Come on! Let's go pick some flowers for Mommy! She wants to make a flower pattern at the front door! Hi! I'm Choo Choo! Today, my family and I are going to celebrate Diwali, the Festival of Lights. So, come on, join us! Here are the flowers, Mommy! Thank you, my darlings. Such pretty flowers. I'm going to make a rangoli with them. What's a rangoli, Mommy? It's a colorful decoration that people make at their doorsteps on Diwali. It brings good energies and positivity into our homes. Wow, that's such a good thought! Now, will my little sweethearts help me with the rangoli? Of course, Mommy! And I'll decorate the front door with this garland. It's the festival of lights, it's Diwali tonight. Sparkling, twinkling, beautiful, bright, it's Diwali tonight. On Diwali. Choo Choo, people decorate their doorsteps with rangolis to invite and welcome people into their homes and their hearts. How wonderful! And why do people celebrate Diwali, Daddy? Good question, Cha Cha. Come, let me tell you the story of Diwali. Once upon a time, there was a wonderful prince named Rama. He was kind-hearted and took special care of the poor and the weak. All of his people loved him for his goodness. Rama's father, the king, saw how good and generous Rama was. And so, he wanted Rama to be the next king. But one day, a lady who didn't want Prince Rama to become king played a trick on the king and convinced him to send Prince Rama to a forest for 14 years. Poor Rama left his palace and lived a tough life in the forest. But he never stopped being gentle, kind and good. After 14 years, when Prince Rama returned to his kingdom, the people were very happy. They lit up their homes with lamps, decorated their front doors, and welcomed him with joy to their homes. This is how the festival of Diwali started. That's so interesting. So, Diwali is all about defeating the bad thoughts inside of us and making the goodness in us more powerful. Wow! Thanks, Daddy! I'll always try and remember what Diwali is about. 
That's great, Chacha. Shall we go and make some more Diwali treats together now? Guess who called? It was Chiku and Chica's mommy. And guess what she said? They're all coming over to celebrate Diwali with us. Oh, that's great. It'll be fun to share our toys and our Diwali sweets with Chica and Chiku and their family. What happened, Cha-Cha? You don't look happy. Is something the matter? I wish Chiku and Chica and their family wouldn't visit us today. But why is that, Cha-Cha? I thought you loved playing with Chiku and Chica. I do. But... But I don't want them to play with our new car set. I just want us to play with it. What if they spoil it? And if we share our Diwali sweets with them, they'll be even less for us. I don't want to give them the sweets we made. Oh, Cha-Cha, I see what the problem is. You don't want to share things with them. Cha-Cha, do you remember what Daddy told us about Diwali? That Diwali is all about defeating the bad thoughts inside us and making the goodness in us more powerful? So, Cha-Cha, look at it this way. If you're selfish and you don't want to share your stuff, you're letting the bad thoughts inside you become more powerful than the goodness inside of you. Do you want the bad thoughts to win? No, no. I want goodness to win. I sure want goodness to win. Choo Choo, I'm going to share our toys and sweets with Chiku and Chica and their family. And I'm going to defeat selfishness. Oh, Cha Cha, that's so wonderful. Bro, this is such a cool car. Watch this green car go over the bridge. Boom! Choo Choo and Cha Cha, thanks for letting us play with these cars. You're welcome, Chiku and Chica. Hang on, let me get some Diwali sweets that we made. Lamps 
lights and flowers everywhere. These patterns look so colorful and pretty. Mmm, these sweets look yummy. Mommy, Daddy, are we celebrating something today? Yes, Chiku and Chika. We are celebrating the festival of Diwali. With the whole of India. Huh? Diwali? India? Yes, Chika and Chiku. Diwali is a very important festival. It is celebrated all over India. From the north to the south. And all over the world, too, since it's so special. Diwali sounds like a lot of fun. But why do people celebrate Diwali? The people in the north of India celebrate Diwali to remember the Hindu god, Lord Ram. And the people in the south celebrate it to remember another Hindu god, Lord Krishna. Both of them were very brave. And they both saved the world from some very cruel demons. Saved the world from demons? Wow! Yes, there are some lovely songs about Lord Rama and Lord Krishna and Diwali too. Songs about Lord Rama and Lord Krishna and Diwali? Can we listen to one now, please? Yes, kids, we can! Come on, everyone. First, let's listen to a song about Lord Krishna and how he saved the world from a demon named Narakasura. like Lord Krishna and save the world from demons. And I want to be brave like his wife and fight evil too. 
<laughs> you both are very brave. But come on now, let's get ready to celebrate Diwali. Let's light some lamps now. After all, Diwali is the festival of lights. And now it's time for some fireworks! Hooray! Yay! Diwali is so much fun! Let's wish everyone who's celebrating Diwali with us today! Happy Diwali! Happy Diwali! Happy, happy Diwali! Kusli was a boy in Cha Cha's class. He was very proud of himself. I'm handsome and smart. There's no one else like me. Cusley also made fun of all the children. Cha-Cha, you are so silly. Chica, boo. Huh? On the day before Halloween, Cusley went to the park to play. He found a corner and started playing by himself. Suddenly, the lights in the park went out, and the park became very dark. Huh? Cusley's hands began to sweat, his mouth felt dry, and he began to feel butterflies in his stomach. Cusley was very afraid of the dark. It's so dark here. I hear so many strange sounds. And what are those lights? I hope they aren't g g g ghosts or w witches. Cusley was terrified. He couldn't stop thinking about all of the scary stories he had read. Cusley began to cry. <laughs> Choo Choo and her friends were in the park too. Luckily, they heard Cusley. Huh? That sounds like Cusley. Hmm. I know that Cusley's afraid of the dark. He must be scared because the lights went out. Let's go help him. Choo Choo and the others turned on their flashlights and went looking for Cusley. Look, there he is. Cusley was still shaking with fear when Choo Choo and the others found him. So they all tried to cheer him up. Cusley, we're here. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to worry about. But I hear strange sounds. And look at those two shining lights. Cha Cha shone his flashlight and showed Cusley where the sounds were coming from. Look over there! See the frogs and crickets? They are making those sounds. And those lights you see? They're fireflies. Huh? Cusley felt much better. He was thankful for Choo Choo and her friends. And the lights came back. Yay! The next day was Halloween. Cusley decided to surprise his friends with balloons, cupcakes, and chocolates. Thank you, everyone. Guess what? I'm not scared of the dark anymore. And I'm sorry I've been rude to you all. You are all brave, kind, and caring. And that's what makes you all very special. Cusley, we are all happy to be your friends. Come on, 
It's Halloween day! Let's go trick or treat! Happy Halloween to all! goodies. Decorate the tree. Yay! And Baby Taku, Baby Kucha, and Baby Lucy were getting ready for Santa Claus. to come soon. I hope he remembers to get our presents. I hope we get to hear him laugh and say... Ho, ho, ho! Suddenly, the babies heard someone at the door. not here, but he's left some presents. They are for Cha-Cha, Chica, and Cusley. After some time, 
The doorbell rang again. Santa! It must be Santa! and Chiku to go to the fireplace. Come on, let's go! Oh, look! These presents are for us, Chiku. <laughs> Santa must have left them here. presents for us. Or Champ either. There's someone else with me, too. Ta-da! Santa! Yay! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, kids! Merry Christmas, babies! I didn't forget you. Come on, let's go eat the goodies you've made. Mmm, yummy! Yum, yum! Baby Taku, Baby Lucy, Baby Kucha, Choo Choo, and the others had a wonderful time that night. And the best Christmas with Santa Claus and Mr. Harlow. Merry Christmas, everyone! Ho, ho, ho! Cha-Cha loved dinosaurs. He had lots of dinosaur toys. And he often wished that he could have a real dinosaur as a pet. I wish I had a dinosaur. It would be so much fun. We would be best friends. And we would laugh and play together all day. One night, Cha-Cha fell asleep thinking about a pet dinosaur. When Cha-Cha woke up the next morning, there was a yeah. knock on the door. Huh? And a friendly-looking dinosaur walked in. Hi, hi. <laughs> Cha-Cha was so happy to see the dinosaur that he gave him a big hug. I'm going to call you Dino! Cha-Cha took Dino everywhere. Everyone, meet Dino! He's a dinosaur! Hi, hi! 
At first, people were afraid of the dinosaur. Huh? Huh? But soon, they realized that he was sweet and friendly. Hi, hi. <laughs> Later that day, Cha-Cha surprised Dino. He took him to meet all his friends. Dino, meet my friends. Their names are Chica and Chiku. Hi, hi Dino. Dino. Hi, hi. <laughs> Dino had a surprise for Cha-Cha, too. He took Cha-Cha to the park where he lived. And he introduced Cha-Cha to all his friends. Meet Tyrannosaurus. Stegosaurus. Spinosaurus. Triceratops and Brontosaurus. Hi, Tyrannosaurus. Hi, Stegosaurus. Hi, Spinosaurus. Hi, Triceratops. Hi, Brontosaurus. Hi, hi. <laughs> All the different dinosaurs played with Cha-Cha. <laughs> and Cha-Cha laughed and had lots of fun. Cha-Cha even took pictures with Dino and all of the other dinosaurs. Say cheese! Cheese! In the evening, Cha-Cha said goodbye to Dino and the other dinosaurs. Bye, Dino! Bye, Tyrannosaurus! Bye, Stegosaurus! Bye, Spinosaurus! Bye, Triceratops! See you! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cha Cha went home feeling very happy. He never forgot how much fun he had that day. He named the day his amazing dinosaur day. I had so much fun on my amazing dinosaur day! Today, Miss Dorothy is telling us about the world around us. About different people who live in it. I'm sure it'll be really exciting to learn about all this. Don't you think so? So, come on, join us. So, kids, I want you to imagine something. Ready? Yes, yes Miss Dorothy. Dorothy! Imagine how it would be if all your toys were the same. That would be no fun, Miss Dorothy. Dorothy! And now, imagine if all your storybooks had the same story. And if all the colors in your coloring box were the same color. Oh, no! Nah! You're right! That would be so dull! Now, imagine if the world was made up of people who looked the same, wore the same kind of clothes, ate the same kind of food, spoke the same language. Wouldn't that be dull, too? Yes, Miss Dorothy! It would, would be, be dull! dull. What makes our world exciting is that different people live in it. And just like it's fun to use 
different colors or read different stories, it's fun to get to know people who are different from us. Wow! I'd sure like to make friends with kids from different parts of the world. When I grow up, Miss Dorothy, I'll learn to speak different languages. And I'll travel to different places. And I'll learn to cook food from different countries. And I'll eat all the dishes you cook, Chiku. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Cusley! It's time for your snack break now, kids. I'm glad you enjoyed this class. You can go out and play now. I'll see you later. Thank you, Miss Dorothy! Hmm. What should we play today? Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's take turns on the swings. Oh, Chica, you always want to play on the swings. It's your favorite thing to do. Why don't you think of something new? I will, I will. I'll think of something new, too. But please, can we first play on the swings? Okay, then. Let's go. Hooray! We have a new girl in school. Shall we go up to her and make friends? What a great idea, Choo Choo! Let's do that! Oh, looks like she doesn't want to be disturbed. Well, some other time then, when she isn't busy. Let's carry on to the swings for now. You all carry on. I'll join you in a bit. Hi, I'm Chica. What's your name? Suki. Hi, Suki. Are you new to the school? I'd like to be your friend, Suki. Would you like that? Oh. Why is that, Suki? I scared everyone make fun of me. I'm from different place. I look different. I speak different. I think no one wants to be my friend. Oh, that's not true, Suki. Just today in class, we discussed how exciting it is to meet kids from different places and get to know them. I do want to be your friend, and I'm sure all my friends will be excited to get to know you too. Really? Yes, really. What's keeping, Chica? He was so excited about the swings! Well, look at it this way. With one person less, our turns come faster. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go look for him? Yes, let's go! There you are, Chica. We were waiting at the swings. Look! I've made a new friend! Oh, wow! That's great, Chica! We, we want to meet, meet your new friend, friend too, Chica! And I'm sure she wants to meet me, the greatest and smartest kid in school! Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Cusley, meet my new friend, Suki! Suki is from a different country. She's new in the school. She is scared no one would want to be her friend. Suki, we all want to be friends with you and get to know you. Thank you so much. I'm so scared of first day in new school. But look, I already made so many new friends. You're, You're welcome, welcome, Suki. And to welcome you as our new friend, we'd like to sing a song for you. Shall we? Yes! Our eyes are two, but the vision is one. Our hands are two, but the work is one. Our legs are two, but the journey is one. Our ears are two, but what we hear is one. Black or white, we all are human. 
to make a new friend. Hope you had fun, too. Bye! Colorful, joyful, so much fun. It's holy, come on, everyone. Spread some color, spread some love. Happy, holy, everyone. Best friends forever! What an awesome Best Friends poster we've made, Chiku! I love it! I love it too, Choo Choo! My best friend! Yeah! What good artists we are! It couldn't get better than this! Oh, wait a minute! It could get better than this! Why did you do that, Chiku? You've ruined my picture! And our poster! I'm sorry, Choo Choo. I had no idea you would get upset. I should have asked you before I did that. But I was just having a little fun. Choo Choo, I'm sorry. That's my mommy coming to pick me up. Gotta go. Choo Choo? Best friends forever? I'm not so sure anymore if we're best friends. <sighs> Good night, Choo Choo. <sighs> what a lovely morning! Let me go down to the kitchen and see what Mommy and Daddy and Cha Cha and Taku are up to. Chiku's not my friend anymore. Good morning, Choo Choo. Good morning, Mommy and Daddy and Cha Cha and Taku. What's all this? What are these colors? Today is a festival called Holy Choo Choo. It's a festival that we celebrate with all these gorgeous colors. Holy? Yeah. It's a festival of color and love and friendship. It's when people get together with their families and their friends and throw these colors on each other and have a lot of fun. And Daddy and I want us to celebrate Holy as a family today. That, that sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun! But Mommy, why is Holy celebrated? Well, one of the reasons for celebrating Holy is to welcome spring. After a long, cold winter, when warm weather arrives, colorful new flowers start to bloom everywhere. Holy celebrations are a way of welcoming the beautiful season of spring on Earth. That's so cool! But Mommy, how did the Festival of Holy start? Oh, there's a very interesting story about how the Festival of Holy started. It's a story about a little boy god called Krishna and his best friend, a girl called Radha. Krishna and Radha? Will you tell us their story, Mommy, please? Of course, my darlings. <laughs> this is the story of Radha and Krishna and how they first celebrated Holi in the beautiful town of Vrindavan. Once upon a time, there lived a mischievous little god called Krishna. He had many friends. And often, he and his friends would play harmless little pranks on people. But everybody loved Krishna. But Krishna's best friend was a girl called Radha. Krishna was playful and mischievous. While Radha was serious, Krishna's skin was sunburned and dark, while Radha's skin was pale. And in their true friendship, it didn't matter at all that they were so different from each other. Mischievous Krishna would play pranks on Radha too. And sometimes they would argue or get mad at each other. But that didn't mean that they stopped being friends. Like all good friends, 
they always worked things out. When spring came to Vrindavan, Krishna planned a prank on Radha. He took a fistful of color and smeared it across her face, saying, Look, Radha, now your skin isn't pale anymore. But this time, Radha too had a prank up her sleeve. She signaled to her friends. Radha's friends picked up water blasters full of colored water and sprayed Krishna. This game looked like so much fun that all the people of Vrindavan came out and joined in, throwing color at each other. And that's how the festival of Holi started. So you see, my darlings, Holi is a festival when you forgive and forget and celebrate friendship and love. I can't wait to celebrate Holi! That's wonderful, Cha-Cha! Choo-Choo, you look a bit serious. Is everything okay? No, Mommy. Actually, yesterday I got really mad at Chiku. Aw, oh, Choo-Choo. But Mommy, the story you just told us about Radha and Krishna, it's made me understand that sometimes friends can get mad at each other that doesn't mean they stop being friends. That's right, darling. Mommy, I need to work things out with my friend. Is it okay if we invite Chiku and her brothers to celebrate Holi with us today? Of course, sweetheart. That'll be such a great way for you to make up with Chiku. Hang on, I'll just call Chiku's mommy. Right then. Chiku, Chika, and Kucha will be here soon. Yippee! It's going to be a fun holy! Chiku, I'm sorry I got mad at you yesterday. And I want you to know that you're still my best friend. And I'm sorry I made you mad, Choo Choo. And I too want you to know that you're still my best friend. Friends forever! <laughs> very excited. The next day was her mother's birthday. And as a surprise, she was going to bake a delicious birthday cake with her aunt's help. We'll make a delicious birthday cake. We'll put lots of cherries and icing on it. And we'll also put a message that says, Happy birthday, Mom! Choo Choo just couldn't wait to give the cake to her mother. Choo Choo went to her aunt's house the next morning and baked the cake together. It smelled delicious. Together, Choo Choo and her aunt decorated the cake with sweet icing and some juicy cherries. Choo Choo's aunt even put the message Choo Choo had wanted. It said, Happy birthday, Mom! The cake is ready, Choo Choo! You can give it to your mother now! She's going to love it! Thank you so much for helping me! I know my mom will love the cake! Choo Choo took the cake back home very carefully. I am going to sing the birthday song when I give my mom this cake. 
Choo Choo was being very careful with the cake. But the street outside her house was slippery, and Choo Choo fell. Oh, ow! The beautiful birthday cake came crashing down. Oh, the birthday cake! It's ruined now! I have nothing to surprise Mom with! Choo Choo's mother saw her crying. Choo Choo? What's wrong? Why are you crying, my dear? Choo Choo told her mother about the birthday cake and how it had toppled over. The cake was a birthday surprise for you, Mom. Choo Choo's mother was very touched by her thoughtfulness. The cake would have been a wonderful surprise, Choo Choo. Thank you for baking it for me. But please, don't worry about what happened. But Choo Choo felt terrible. She wanted to give her mother something for her birthday. I wonder if there's anything else I can give Mom to make her feel special. Just then, Choo Choo's friends Chica and Chiku came by. When Choo Choo told them what had happened, they had an idea for what to do. Why don't you make a birthday card for your mom, Choo Choo? You can write a nice poem on it. Choo Choo liked the idea. That's a lovely idea. I can make mom a beautiful birthday card and write a poem on it. So, Choo Choo made a beautiful birthday card with a pretty picture on the front and a nice poem inside. Happy birthday, Mommy! I hope your day is full of joy and cheer. With this card, your daughter Choo Choo is sending you lots of love. Happy birthday, Mommy! From your darling son, Cha Cha. When the card was ready, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, and Baby Taku took it to their mother. Happy birthday, Mom! I have a surprise for you! Ta da! What a beautiful birthday card! Thank you, Choo Choo! This is a beautiful birthday surprise! Mommy! Here is mine! Wow! This is a lovely gift, Cha Cha! Thank you, dear! Bee, 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 bee. Wow, this is so cute! I love you, dear! Choo Choo was delighted! Her mother really liked the birthday card! She thanked her friends for giving her the idea! It was a warm, sunny summer morning. Choo Choo came out of the house and looked around the backyard. What a lovely day! I wonder what my friends and I can do to have fun today. I have an idea. I'll invite all my friends over to make a fort. And when it's done, we can call it the Happy Fort. Then we can sit inside the Happy Fort and do happy things. Choo Choo called all of her friends. They all came quickly. Everyone was excited. What are we going to do today, Choo Choo? We are going to make a fort. And we are going to call it the Happy Fort. And when it's ready, we'll sit inside it and do happy things. Cha-Cha, Chiku, and Chica liked Choo Choo's idea. That sounds fun! We'll all help make the fort. But Cusley didn't want to participate. I don't want to make your fort, Choo Choo. I don't want to sit inside it either. I'll play my own game instead. Huh? Together, 
Chuchu, Chacha, Chica, and Chiku made a wonderful happy fort, and they had a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> Cusley, however, didn't join them. Not even when the others asked him to. Join us, Cusley. Yes, Cusley. We are having fun. No. Huh? Cusley didn't join the others, and so Choo Choo and the other children made the fort on their own. Soon, it was ready. Our happy fort is ready! Let's sit inside it now and do happy things! Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica sat inside the fort. They played games and sang some happy songs. Let's pretend it's raining! Play. Rain, rain, go away. Yay! <laughs> huh? Sitting outside the fort, Cusley noticed how much fun Choo Choo and the others were having. Huh? My friends are having so much fun. Huh. I wish I had joined them and not been so rude. Choo Choo noticed Cusley looking disappointed. And so she suggested to the others that they invite Cusley to join them. Cha Cha? Chica? Chiku? I think Cusley's feeling left out. Let's invite him into our happy fort. Yes! Let's do that! We'd love to have Cusley in our happy fort. And so, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chica, and Chiku invited Cusley into the happy fort. Cusley? Please, join us in our happy fort. Come and play and do happy things with us. Huh? But I didn't help make it. Don't worry, Cusley. Come on in. Yes. Come and join the fun. So, Cusley joined his friends in the fort. Baking cakes! Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man! Bake me a cake as fast as you can! Roll it and pat it and mark it with B! And put it in the oven for baby and me! Yay! <laughs> Cusley had a lot of fun playing in the happy fort. He was glad Choo Choo and the others had invited him in. That day, he decided that he would never be rude again and that he would join in whenever his friends invited him to do something fun. Choo Choo and her friends were very excited. They were getting ready to have a picnic. I put chocolate milk Fruit, cake, sandwiches, and cookies all in the basket. We'll eat them at our picnic. Ooh, it looks delicious. Play with it at our picnic. And I have a new camera. I can take pictures of us at the picnic. Everyone was looking forward to the picnic. But suddenly, dark clouds filled the sky. And it began to rain.
father noticed how upset the children were. He knew how excited they all were for the picnic. Don't worry, children. If the rain stops soon, you can still go on your picnic. But the rain didn't stop. Big drops fell from the sky, and Choo Choo and the other children were very disappointed. I put so many delicious goodies in our picnic basket. Delicious at our picnic. And this ball is of no use now, huh? We can't play with it in the house. And I can't take any fun pictures with my camera now. Hmm. Chuchu's father watched the children. They all looked so sad. He wanted to cheer them up. So he came up with an idea of something they could do to have fun in the rain. <laughs> Chuchu and the other children heard some voices. Do you hear those voices? like someone's laughing outside. Come on, let's go see who it is. The children stepped outside, and to their surprise, they saw all of their parents playing in the rain. Oh, look! Our parents are all playing soccer. And they're having so much fun. Come on, children. Come and play. All of the children joined their parents playing soccer, jumping in puddles, and having loads of fun in the rain. cheered for the rain. Hip, hip! Hooray! The children had a lot of fun that day, and Cusley took some great pictures. Say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> then everyone sat together under an enormous garden umbrella in the backyard and ate the snacks that Choo Choo had packed in the picnic basket. Day picnic in our backyard. Hooray! The rain has made our day even more fun. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chica, Chiku, and Cusley had a wonderful time that day. They were glad that it had rained. They thanked Choo Choo's father for cheering them up and showing them how much fun they could have playing in the rain. Thank you, Dad. you a secret? Today's my mommy's birthday. And Cha-Cha, Taku, and I have a surprise for her. We're gonna bake a cake for her. The best cake in the world. Come, watch how we do it. But shh, be very quiet. We don't want to wake mommy up. Cha-Cha, Taku, wake up. Do you remember what day it is? It's mom! Oh, oops! It's 
mommy's birthday. <laughs> Come on then, let's go bake the best cake in the world. For the best mommy in the world. Yippee! Daddy's gonna help us bake the best cake in the world. Thanks, Daddy. Let's get started, kids. We want to get it ready before Mommy wakes up, don't we? <laughs> so, what shape should the cake be? This one, Daddy! Okay, let's get down to work. Choo Choo and Cha Cha, would you like to make the cake batter while I help Taku with the frosting? Yes, Daddy! color pink. Should we add a little pink to the batter? That's a great idea. She'd love that, Choo Choo. I've got this. A few drops. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. That's too much color. I think I just ruined the best cake in the world. Oh, Cha-Cha. Don't feel bad about it. It was a mistake. Cheer up, Cha-Cha. We'll still bake the best cake in the world. Daddy, I think we're ready to put this in the oven. Sure, darling. And now, we wait for a bit. Wow! And now for the most fun part, the frosting! See that, Taku? There's plenty left. I'm sure I'll manage to cover the whole cake. I've ruined it! It's not heart-shaped anymore! This was supposed to be a perfect cake, but everything's gone wrong! Color! The shape, the frosting, nothing's worked out. Choo-choo, don't cry, please. Daddy, this cake doesn't look that great. Can we please drive down to the cake shop and buy a nice one for Mommy instead? Aw, Choo-choo, I can understand that you're feeling disappointed because the cake didn't turn out the way that you wanted. But let me tell you something. I've been watching the three of you, and I saw the love that you put into this cake. That's the magic ingredient, Choo Choo. That's what'll make it the best cake in the world. But it looks so, so wobbly. Choo Choo, I want you to think of something. Think of Mommy's treasure box. What does she keep in there? pictures we drew for her from the time we were babies. Exactly. And that's why I'm pretty sure that Mommy would prefer something that the three of you made rather than something that anyone can buy in a store. That's right, Daddy. Mommy 
loves the things we make her. Even if they look kind of wobbly. Okay, come on. Let's take this to Mommy. Surprise! Happy birthday, Mommy! <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. We baked this for you, Mommy! Aw, that's so sweet, kids. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, my darlings. Is it good, Mommy? Good. It's great, kids. I love it. You know why I love this cake so much? It's because I can feel the thoughtfulness that went into it. And I can taste the love that three little pairs of hands poured into it. For me, it's the best cake in the world. Yay! helping mommy bake Christmas cakes. But you know what my favorite thing about Christmas is? Getting presents! I love getting Christmas presents. So stick around with us. Don't you want to see what presents Taku, Cha-Cha, and I get? looks so beautiful. It sure does. Hey, Choo Choo and Taku, what would you really, really like to get as a Christmas gift? Dino. Big, big baby. Want a dino. That's so sweet. Pika Puka Paku, my baby brother Taku. I hope you get a cuddly dinosaur this Christmas. How about you, Choo Choo? Um, you know what I'd really love? Is a shiny new piano. Choo Choo, I hope your wish for a brand new piano comes true. And you, Cha Cha? What gift are you dreaming of? What I really, really would love is a big red race car toy. I hope you get the present you're dreaming of, Cha-Cha. It's such fun thinking about Christmas presents. Hey, kids. What do you say we go out and have some fun in the snow? Yes! yes! Daddy, can we ride our bicycles? Sure, darling. Let's go! Yay! This is fun! Hi, Mr. Roberts! Merry Christmas, Mr. Roberts! Hi, kids. Merry Christmas to you, too. Nice bikes. Thanks, Mr. Roberts. 
Actually, that's exactly the kind of bike I wanted to get for my little boy this Christmas. Hope you managed to get it, Mr. Roberts. Well, actually, no. I didn't manage to save enough money for it. Maybe next Christmas I'll get it for him. Bye-bye. All right, then. Should we go inside and decorate our Christmas tree? Yes, Daddy. Be yes, Dada. Who could that be? Kids, it's Santa. Christmas, my dear children. Do you have any Christmas wishes? Is there anything you really want this Christmas? Yes, we do, Santa. Well, I'm going to sit here in this chair, and you can come up to me one by one and whisper in my ear and tell me what you want. Thank you, Santa. You can go first, Baby Taku. <laughs> you next, Cha-Cha. Your turn, Choo-Choo. This is amazing! Mr. and Mrs. Charlie, all three of your kids wished for exactly the same thing. You mean you also asked for... Really? But they like such different things. How's that even possible? That's because they're very kind and generous kids and they understand the true meaning of Christmas. Go ahead, kids, tell your parents what you really, really want this Christmas. Well, Mommy, Daddy, we heard Mr. Roberts telling Daddy that he couldn't save enough money to buy a bicycle for his little boy. And when we heard that, we knew that the thing that would make us really happy is if Mr. Roberts' little boy could have a bike. And so we told Santa that we didn't really want anything for ourselves. What we really, really want this Christmas is for Mr. Roberts' boy to get a bicycle. Aw, you adorable sweethearts. What kind hearts you have. That's true Christmas spirit, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, and Taku. We're so proud of you. And your Christmas wish will come true, dear kids. Merry Christmas! Our Christmas wish did come true. And we learned that making someone else happy can make you happy too. Merry Christmas, everyone! Hope you bring joy to someone this Christmas. It was the weekend. Choo Choo School was closed. And she was feeling very bored. It wasn't a holiday today. Hmm. Noticing Choo Choo's boredom, Choo Choo's mother decided to show her some different ways to have fun. Come on, Choo Choo. Let me show you some new games and things you can do to have fun. Okay, Mom. First, 
Choo Choo's mother showed her how to play hopscotch. Choo Choo found it to be a lot of fun. Next, the two of them had fun running a race. Ready, set, go! Choo Choo and her mother then had fun swinging on the swings. Dancing with hula hoops. Skipping rope. Finally, Choo Choo's mother decided to take her out for a walk. Come on, Choo Choo. Let's go for a nature walk now. Huh? A nature walk? Yes. We'll look for beautiful things that Mother Nature has made for us while we walk. And we can also do some bird watching. The nature walk sounds like fun, Mom. Miss Dorothy said that bird watching is a lot of fun. I can't wait to see some new birds. Choo Choo and her mother headed off into the woods. They first saw some ladybugs. Look at these bugs, Choo Choo. Aren't they pretty with their red backs and black spots? They are called ladybugs. <laughs> ladybugs! Choo Choo's mother then showed her some birds. Look at this bird, Choo Choo. It's called a woodpecker. It pecks the tree to look for bugs. Huh? Choo Choo and her mother then spotted some other birds. This bird is called a blue jay. Look at its wings. They are so pretty. That bird is a bald eagle. It has a snowy white head. Look! There is the morning dove. And oh, look at that bird. It's called a red cardinal. I like all these birds. They look so lovely. Suddenly, Choo Choo heard a strange sound. Huh? What's that sound? That sound is called quacking, Choo Choo. Come on, let's see who's making it. Choo Choo's mother took her to a pond. There was a friendly looking bird there. It smiled at Choo Choo. This bird is known as the mallard duck. Hello, mallard duck. It's nice to meet you. Choo Choo and her mother had fun watching the mallard duck. <laughs> they watched how it waddled. 
swam in the pond. And flew in the sky. Choo Choo and her mother then had a picnic near the pond. The mallard duck joined them and ate some bird seed. Choo Choo's mother then took a picture of Choo Choo with the mallard duck. It was time to go home. Goodbye, Mallard Duck. <coughs> Goodbye, Red Cardinal. Morning Dove. Bald Eagle. Goodbye, Blue Jay. And Woodpecker. Goodbye, Ladybugs. Take care. As they walked home, Choo Choo thanked her mother for taking her on the nature walk. Thank you, Mom. I had a lot of fun today. I enjoyed meeting the birds and playing new games with you. I don't think I'll ever get bored now. And that's because you've shown me how I can have fun in so many different ways. From that day on, Choo Choo always looked forward to holidays. She knew that it was the best time to have fun and do new and interesting things. Cha Cha's father had a box. It was full of tools. The tools could fix anything. And so, Cha-Cha called it Daddy's Magic Box. That's Daddy's Magic Box! One day, Grandpa's glasses broke. Uh-oh! Don't worry, Grandpa. Daddy will fix them with his magic box. Cha-Cha's father opened his box and pulled out a tool called a screwdriver. Using it, he quickly fixed the glasses. Ah! Hooray for Daddy! Hooray for Daddy's magic box! A little while later, the kitchen sink started leaking. Oh dear! The sink is leaking! And we're wasting water! Don't worry, Mom! I'll call Daddy! He'll get his magic box! Cha-Cha's father opened his box. He took out a tool called a wrench. And in no time, he fixed the sink leak. Hooray! Daddy fixed the sink leak with his magic box! Choo Choo had made a pretty picture and she wanted to hang it on the wall. Cha-Cha, I want to hang this picture. Daddy will help you, Choo-Choo, with his magic box. So, Choo-Choo and Cha-Cha's father 
came to help. He brought his box. He picked up a tool called a drill. And he used it to make a hole in the wall. He then hammered a nail into the wall. You can now hang your picture, Choo Choo. Thank you, Daddy. Hooray for Daddy. I want to be like him and do things with the magic box. Cha-Cha felt very proud of his father. He wished he could be like him. And one day, he had the chance to be just like him. Cha-Cha's grandmother was sewing. Suddenly, she dropped her needle. Oh dear! My needle has fallen down. I can't spot it anywhere. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll help you. Cha-Cha ran to his father. Daddy, may I borrow your magic box? I want to find Grandma's needle. Sure, Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha opened the box. He pulled out a flashlight and shined it on the floor. Yay! <laughs> and in no time, he spotted the needle. Ah! There it is! Cha-Cha then pulled out a tool called a magnet. He used it to pick the needle up. Here's your needle, Grandma. Thank you, Cha-Cha. I'm very proud of you. You're just like your daddy today. <laughs> Cha-Cha felt very proud of himself. He finally had the chance to use the magic box and be just like his father. Okay, honey. It's just my back. It kind of hurts. All that bending and twisting from cleaning the car has made my back sore. Aw, honey. Maybe it's time we got you that car vacuum cleaner. Um, not yet. It cost a fair bit of money. And there are other important things we need to save up for right now. <laughs> what took you so long? Huh? What happened? Why do you look so sad, Choo Choo? I just overheard Mommy and Daddy talking. Daddy's back hurts. Oh no! Why? because of how much he has to bend while cleaning the car. He needs a car vacuum cleaner. But I heard Daddy say that right now there isn't enough money for it. Idea! We can help! You know those jars in which we've saved our pocket money? 
Let's give those to Mommy to buy a car vacuum cleaner with. Great idea! Let's go! Mommy! Look! The pocket money we've saved! We can use it to buy a car vacuum for Daddy! We know his back hurts. We heard you talking. He really needs one. Aw, you adorable sweethearts. You're such kind and generous kids. So, can we go to the store and buy one right away? Oh, darlings. It's so sweet of you to offer all your saved pocket money. But I'm afraid it won't be enough for a car vacuum cleaner. But don't you worry. We can make this work. You see, I've got some money saved up too for a vacuum for Daddy. We can add your pocket money to this. And let's see. We need just a little bit more. And here's a plan. Father's Day is just a few days away. Now, if you both can save a little more and fill up your jars in the next few days, we'll have enough to buy the vacuum cleaner and give it to Daddy as a Father's Day gift. That's a great plan, Mommy. We can do that, right, Cha-Cha? Yes, we can. Great. Grandpa gave us today. The little reward that Mr. Williams gave me for helping him rake his garden. What Cusley's mommy gave me for helping carry her groceries out of the car. What Mrs. Williams gave us for babysitting Kucha while she did her video call. Well done, Choo Choo and Cha Cha. Keep going. Wow! I want a chocolate cone with sprinkles. Maybe I could take some money out of my jar. But if I spend some of the saved money on ice cream, there won't be enough for Daddy's gift. <laughs> buying an ice cream is not as important as buying Daddy's gift. All right! You kids did it! You've managed to save what we need for Daddy's gift. Tomorrow's Father's Day. We'll go to the store first thing in the morning and buy the gift. Right, Mommy? That's right, kids. Tomorrow's the day. Yippee! I'll get it! Hey, Cha-Cha. Look what I just bought from the toy store with my pocket money. Sounds like quite an awesome car, Cha-Cha. 
And of course, you can have your saved pocket money. But remember, money once spent is gone. And maybe we won't be able to buy Daddy's gift tomorrow. Gone? Huh? No gift for Daddy. But we've been saving up just for that all these days. I'm gonna stick with the plan. I'm gonna hold on to the saved money for Daddy's gift, Mommy. Excellent decision, Cha-Cha. Huh? Happy Father's Day! Whoa! Happy Father's Day! Ah, thank you! This is such a wonderful surprise! But how did you manage this? You'll be proud to know, honey, that Choo Choo and Cha Cha have been saving their pocket money for many days. And their savings helped us buy this gift. Oh, my darlings. I'm so proud of you. What a thoughtful gift. Now my back won't hurt anymore. It's the best gift ever. From the, the best, best kids, kids ever. ever. Cusley, you 
better be careful. Jared is a little liar. He steals toys. He ate our cupcake and took my dino. Huh? I don't believe you. Jared is a nice little boy. He's my friend. All right, Cusley. We tried to warn you. Uh, uh, uh. Jared's making a fool of you. Fool of me? I am Cusley, the great and famous. I need a fast car, and Jared can make it fast. See? Don't worry, Cusley. We will help you get your car back from that Jerry. Just go talk to the Tree of Truth. Huh? Tree of what? Oh! All right, team. You know the drill. Rendezvous in five. Roger. Yes. Roger that. Over and out. Tree of Truth, Jared stole my car. Hey, Cusley, what you doing? I am telling the Tree of Truth about what you did. Tree of Truth, ha! Tree of Truth, Jared stole my car and Chacha's Dino. Oh no, Tree, no I didn't. Liar! me, remember? Nope, you stole it. You are a little thief. Don't steal, don't steal. Stealing isn't a nice thing to do. You must always, yes, you must always be honest and good. You can't escape that easily. The tree won't let you. When you start stealing is a little liar. Getting a taste of your own medicine? But, 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 the tree, it hit me. It tripped 
me. <laughs> that was all you. You were so scared you tripped. <laughs> you tricked me. All of you tricked me. Now you know what it feels like. You tricked Costly and took his car. You ate the cupcakes. And stole Dino. I did. You know, if you want something, you can just ask. You don't have to steal. I can? Do you want a cupcake? Yes. Yes what? Yes, please. Do you want another cupcake? Do you want Dino? Do you want to do my homework? was very fond of her toys. She even said good night to them every night. Good night, toys. Sweet dreams. But Choo Choo often wondered what the toys did while she slept. Hmm. I wonder what my toys will do now. One night, Choo Choo tiptoed to the playroom and quietly peeped in. Startled, she rubbed her eyes and looked again. Choo Choo couldn't believe what she was seeing. Huh? Choo Choo's toys were having a party. The teddy bear and the elephant were chatting with each other. I feel very happy when Choo Choo hugs me. Me too! The lion was playing with the doll. <laughs> Catch me! <laughs> <laughs> the toy monkey and the toy giraffe were headed to the fridge. Let's get some bananas! Huh? The trucks and the cars were going on a trip. Follow me, everyone! Choo Choo was delighted! Look at my toys! I had no idea they were having so much fun while I slept! I want to play with them too! But just as Choo Choo stepped forward, 
she tripped on a ball. And then she woke up with a start. Huh? Where did my toys go? Oh, I must have been dreaming. Let me go back to sleep. Choo Choo went back to sleep and dreamt about her toys again. It was a bright and sunny morning. Baby Taku was playing in the garden. <laughs> Suddenly, Baby Taku's mother heard him grow very excited. <laughs> Baby Taku's mother came to see what had happened. What happened, dear? Baby Taku showed his mother a fluffy little chick that had come into the garden. Oh! There's a little chick in our garden. It must have wandered away from the farm. I think it's looking for its mama. Yes, dear. Just like you have me as your mama, this little chick has a mama too. She's the hen who lays eggs and lives on the farm. Yes, yes, dear. We'll help this chick find its mother. Baby Taku's mother then put the chick in a basket. Mother and baby Taku then took the chick and went looking for the chick's mother. As soon as they reached the farm, they saw the chick's mother. She was a plump brown hen. And she was clucking and asking her friends on the farm if they had seen her chick. <laughs> That's the chick's mother, dear. She looks very worried. She must be looking for the chick. Come on, let's tell her that the chick is here. Baby Taku and his mother then called out to the hen. Mama hen? Are you looking for your chick? Don't worry, your chick is here. The hen was very happy. She immediately ran towards the chick. <laughs> Baby Taku and his mother then put the basket down and let the chick out. The little chick and the hen were very happy to see each other. And Baby Taku was so happy to see them together that he clapped his hands, jumped with joy, and laughed happily. <laughs> Baby Taku then gave his mother a hug and lots and lots of kisses. He was happy that his mother had been kind and helped the little chick find its mother.